Hi everyone, it's Tuesday. Welcome to Embody Your True Essence with me, Gray. It's Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. Step six day. We're moving to step seven in the middle of the day. But how are you guys feeling? I feel better and better and better getting used to that energy of Virgo season. Definitely feel like, yeah, um, boundaries. <laughs> boundaries are, you know, I think Scorpio season is all about boundaries, knowing more about yourself. And uh, uh, yesterday I came to a point where, oh my God, boundaries are beautiful actually. <laughs> so uh, I'd love to talk more about that. How are you guys feeling today? Good morning. So happy that you're here. Whether you're watching the recording, whether you're here, I am sending you guys so much love. And uh, I'm doing the live outside today because it's nicer. It's chilly, but it's a, it's a blue sky. Yeah. As you move, good morning, Auntie Ryder. Auntie. Antique writer, are you a writer? Good morning. I mean, good morning here. <laughs> I don't know where you guys are located, but um, yeah. Um, so I was just like um, telling everybody that I am feeling better and better. So uh, thank you to guys. Um, if you guys are shooting a message and all of that, I think I just experienced a death of my ego, my old ego, and I am, um, you know, my heart was shattered. My heart was shattered. From there, I'm slowly picking up my pieces together. And between the pieces, I feel like my new me is emerging. That's how I describe it. So if you are going through something similar, going through some transformation, you know, it's not transformation. It's like, ta-da, butterfly, right? It's like transformation is literally like, it's, it's like, you know, you go through this like cocoon phase, like where you are, you can't see the future, you know, when you're in a cocoon, like the, uh, when, when you're just about to become butterfly and uh, are you going to like trust or if you're in the unknown? Yeah. Reading some Vienna, fellow Canadian. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Yes, Jessica. Good morning. Yes, I write multicultural children's uplifting books and spiritual books in general. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you so much for doing what you do. That's so beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah. So, Scorpio, like I notice, I never really do good. I, I notice Capricorn season is hard for me. I think it's because it's just that. I have this Capricorn side of me that <laughs> gets amplified during Cap Capricorn season, and also I suffer in I suffered in Virgo season, but I did so much better this time. And uh, Scorpio season, another one of those signs that uh, it's hard for me because it's all about setting boundaries. And I think uh, uh, having a Leo rising sign, I don't have a lot of you know I don't have a lot of like. <laughs> Good boundaries. Some people have the tendency of having very strong boundaries and so closed off to the point that you're not so open. That's another problem, right? For me, it's um, my boundaries are so loose that I let a lot of people in in my life to, you know, overcrossing my boundaries and stepping over. And uh, I didn't know. And it's like I thought it's like, okay, I'm, I'm not maybe enough. Maybe I call into this experience because I don't feel enough. I'm not worthy enough to have this type of experience. So it's like, ooh, I needed to just like, you know, exp go through that experience of destruction, <laughs> basically. Like, it's like, oh, it's just like, I felt like I went to the edge of my boundaries, like experienced this little thing. And it's like, no, I'm not, like I tell universe, I will never ever want to feel like this ever again in my entire life until I die. <laughs> I never want to see this, feel this in my entire life. And I know you know how to pro reprogram subconscious. You need to use a positive sentence, right? So you know, try not to use not because universe, uh, the subconscious cannot perceive, like brain cannot perceive like, okay, I can do this. I cannot do this, you know, but 
But at the same time, this like the word never and that emotion attached to it is such a strong intention that it actually works. <laughs> so glad to know that. Yes, good morning. Yes, catch love catching you live. Oh, thank you, Shari. I love that. Yes, thank you so much. Same here about boundaries. Yeah, so boundaries are not about like shielding them, you know, sucking rock. <laughs> stacking bricks and blocks and all of that but how how you guys feel about your own boundaries do you think that um do you think that you have better boundaries about yourself like more about the you know as you know your limit as you know your limit you can feel safer because you know where you stand and where you know where you limit so now you actually find you know peace in it right so I think that's all about that. If you don't have a lot of good boundaries and you call into experiences that teaches you about your limit, right? And it's like, this is how much I can push, but no more, you know? Um, I love Scorpio season because it's like cleaning house. It weeds out those souls that are not for us, yet taught us valuable lessons in that it is a huge blessing because we learn about our strength. I love that. Thank you so much. I love Scorpio season because it's like cleaning house. It weeds out those souls that are not for us yet, taught us valuable lessons in that it is a huge blessing because we learn about our strength. I think it's, you know, we get to decide, we get to decide um, who you want to have in your life. And maybe some people you feel okay having them, like maybe once a month, <laughs> right? And then some people uh, you don't want to interact with them. Maybe you know, maybe just every six months is enough. Or if you just like interact, maybe once in a while, one hour is enough. Uh, but it's not just about the one person, like about the person either, right? It's more about that trait or how they make you feel. And um, if you are so get so comfortable with people, and then they they started to sort of cross boundaries if you if you don't have a strong boundaries, but um, he, this is when we get to know each other more by you know maybe arguing or you know fighting, but I don't like fighting, so <laughs> I think I let myself you know, letting other people cross my boundaries for a very long time. And I did not put myself first in that regard. So I am learning that it's okay to have good boundaries, right? But still keep your heart open because if you don't have good boundaries, you're just going to shatter your heart and you broke your heart and um, you're just going to close your heart off because you don't, you're so afraid of being hurt. Good morning, Lee. Happy Tuesday. Yes. But if you keep your heart open and boundaries up, that's when you can really find inner peace and protect yourself in that way. And, uh, but your heart is open because I think that opening the heart is number one priority for our beautiful healing. So, yeah, how's your mood, guys? Um, I would like to read uh, this, uh, the, what to Serious Joy is an astrology app. Uh, has to say about the energy step six is uh, step six represents i receive libra energy so um if you are solely starting to find um you know peace with you know establishing the new boundaries upgrading your boundaries um yeah you 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 are you are not alone i am the i feel the same way i feel much better um yeah so after several days of some ups and downs, today your life will come to a harmonic balance inside of your, inside yourself. Step six, I receive. It's a ruling state of awareness which promotes creativity, the exchange of love, receiving, and the restoration of equality to a given system. So whatever has been this shovel, I can't read, should this shovel or torn up in your life can be restored to a balance if you determine the appropriate boundaries today. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever has been torn up in your life, I feel like that uh, exactly what I experienced can be restored to a balance. Oh, that's good. Inner peace. And if you determine the appropriate boundaries today, 
because of the combination of I receive energy along with boundaries, so the mixture of I receive with boundaries, <laughs> you may feel yourself wide open, feeling exposed to the world. You may be more sensitive to energies from people, situation, or locations, or you may feel some of your own subcon subconscious emotions coming to the surface all on their own. Whatever comes up is a lesson about personal boundaries and space. You have both the tools to balance energy step six I receive or to create boundaries and close off from energy. The first parts of today may be to balance your energy and determines the right boundaries to create balance. Both of balance and boundaries, balance and boundaries. In your broader narrative, today you are exploring the boundaries necessary to stay in balance and harmony with yourself. Perhaps your mind overthinks situations and throw you feel throw your feelings off balance. Or maybe your feelings about the past always put you in a bad mood. Each of these examples involves the need to draw a line, set the limit, and manage your own awareness into a comfortable form. I can really relate to that because in my mind likes to go to this the worst scenario and make up stories. Uh, from the dots but I'm I, I'm very like introspective and intuitive too at the same time so it's like oh, okay this must be happened and it's like I think is this true it's like show me the these are the facts you know but maybe that's not really what happened right um, it's all about how I look at things but my mind is always want to protect me from being hurt so overthink situations and throw my feeling off balance and that's that's um that's a hard part <laughs> calm in your mind tell the mind that don't worry you're safe all, all is well everything is working out but um if your mind is not believing that if you can't calm your mind like look at this evidence like look at this like this is a lie then that's when you know my heart is like really sad yeah Another important lesson of today involves the boundaries necessary to keep your heart open. Step six I receive is a capacity to open and receive to your heart. If your heart does not feel safe, it will not open to receive. Yeah, so sense of safety. If you have trouble receiving gifts or affection from others, it's because your heart does not feel safe, which can be a direct result of your personal boundary structure. So, yeah. So number one priority, your heart needs to feel safe. If your heart is not safe, you are immediately sort of in your masculine because you're, you know, you, you're in a survival mode. You, like, you, you, you feel like you need to push through pain. So first of all, you need, we need to work on the boundaries while keep opening the heart. It's like, okay, what is it like to feel open? Like, instead of protecting my heart and have like boundaries sealed up around the heart, it's more like, okay, my boundaries is like this big and my heart is keeps on shining and my heart feels safe in this shield. And it's not about this, like, again, stuck in the, stuck in the bricks, but it's just have this like beautiful, beautiful boundaries for myself. So that it's like whatever comes at me or my own thoughts, <laughs> my own emotion, those can be uh, really nasty. So, so I can just let it pass and, you know, just like, okay, it's, it goes around, but I know where I stand. And the powerful thing that I uh, came up with, <laughs> came up with a couple of days ago was, okay, so I feel like my... I'm experiencing the death of my ego, you know, ego always wanted to protect me, but I was exposed to the edge of my boundaries. And it's like, I don't want to, I will never want to feel like this. I will never want to experience this in my entire life moving forward until I die. And so I tell my subconscious and consciousness and, and God universe is like, I set the intention. This is like, no, no more for me. And now from there, okay, I realize time is an illusion, space is an illusion. It's just the tools that I use to manifest in this world. And I'm here. And 
my body is a reflection of me, what's going on inside. And my body needs to feel safe to let go. And my heart needs to feel safe to find an inner peace. So what's the best way? And I, I felt sort of um, came up with this. Um, it's not uh, complete. Oh, no, I thought this was a note that I wrote it down. Maybe I should post it somewhere. But I, um, I drew this. I'm not really like a painter or anything. But I drew, I drew this like um, flower of lotus. And that's me. And that's my real self. And the lotus flower is, uh, represents so many things, right? Like it's the flower of Buddha. And um, it's like savior and uh, calmness, ser serenity, all of that. And this lotus flower have this uh, root, you know, the stem, and it goes deeper into the soil. And then this is how I connect to the universe, right? And all the subconscious. And I am just a fracture. Uh, what's that word? Um, I'm just that one part of the universe, but I have my own consciousness and I am this flower and this is like the spotlight. This, this is my, this is me, the real me and, but also projector <laughs> and my light projecting onto a screen, which create the world. This is what I see right now. And, um, this, what's going on here manifested in here. So, if I have um, a core belief of I am not enough, or if I have the core belief of I am not worthy, then uh, this shows part of me that have that idea. But at this point, I am working on myself. So I think it's, um, it's very hard to just spot one thing at a time and try to peel the layers. I think that's one thing that I'm continuing to do it. At the same time, I think it's super powerful just to recognize here that I am this one light that I am. It doesn't matter what's happening here, right? This is like the, you know, mixture. It's a yin and yang mixture of light and darkness. And you can spot if you're really an observer, you can see this is, this is not real. This is fake, <laughs> but it looks appear to be true, true, you know, but I tell myself, even when I'm feeling sad, even feeling depressed, angry, or speak up and feeling guilty, or feeling embarrassed, when I make a mistake and I don't feel uh, perfect, and um, I did, I'm this, I'm that, or even when I'm having fun, even when I'm feeling joy, all of that, all of that is just in the fake world, illusion. So feeling of safety comes from who you are as a soul. It doesn't matter what's happening here, but I told myself, even when I'm hit, angry, even when I'm like, you know, having hard time and depressed and then crying and angry and all of that, out of all this, I am still safe, loved, provided, and I am, I am good. So I felt like I was finally able to see the truth coming out of that illusion and this is the vast universe right here. And I'm, a, you say fracture? Like I am like one piece of that and shine my light bright and, <laughs> bright and shiny and then projecting onto the illusional world. And I don't need to be swayed by what I see because it's a mixture of my projection mixture of maybe other people's projection but at the end of it i create my own life and because of whatever i am seeing some of the stuff that i don't want to see and here comes my you know here comes my scorpio season lesson i look at those things that i uh, shadow me i look at those things that um put me down and and i, I tell myself Thank you for this experience. Now I know my boundaries. I know my edge. I know my limit. And I tell the universe, I will never want to feel this again. I will never want to experience this again. Please and thank you. <laughs> and so I felt that. 
And then I, um, and another thing I went to, and I, another thing I experienced was, um, I went to, I went to a restaurant yesterday and I ordered and then I, it, it was more like a, a cafeteria type of restaurant. You just order and you pick up food and you sat down and then you eat. It's a Japanese udon place. And, um, I started to eat. And then this um, server came and it's like, sorry, we're almost closing. So this section is closed. And, and then that's why I put, the ta I put the chairs there so nobody goes there. But it's like, it was really unclear. And he was kind of rude. And so it's like, okay. But the reason why I sat down on the table, because I, I even <laughs> wrote in a Google review last night because it's like, okay, this is time for me to speak up. Um, they use this like really strong chemicals uh, for the for their cleaning products for their bathroom. So the half of the room, the food is good, but the half of the room is a mix like it's a mixture of the uh, bathroom smell. You know what I mean? Like it's a clean clean pro like the bathroom cleaning products. And I don't want to smell the bathroom while I'm eating, and that's why I sat on this side. And then, uh, but um, he was not bending it, but I, I, I basically said, okay, well, can I make you one comment? The reason why I sat, sat down here because of this bathroom smell, blah, blah, blah. And, um, but he was not really listening. And then, but anyways, I'm, I'm not gonna let this, you know, ruin my food. <laughs> I finished uh, finish the food and I keep thinking about it. It's like, okay, I'm just gonna write down on the Google review, <laughs> becoming a little Karen. But anyways, um, and I went home and I'm doing some shadow work again. And, and I, uh, and I think about all those things that show up in my, in my life throughout the day. And I just like, Actually, boundaries are beautiful. You know, I used to hate being pushed and my buttons being pushed and people trigger me, all of that. And it's like, oh, oh, not again, not again. But I think you feel this way if you don't have strong boundaries and not knowing where you stand. So what I thought was, okay, you know, I'm already going through real hard time in this you know, Scorpio season, and um, there's no way but to face the truth, right? So I am taking, you know, as you guys know, I'm taking one day at a time. Sometimes, like, it goes down, and then I went through some, like, really crazy period. If you are either a um, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, <laughs> those signs are, are the signs that got hugely affected by this um, astral, astral energy. But um, I'm pretty sure... Um, we're all feeling some type of way and like about, about boundaries, the relationship. We, because we're upgrading ourselves and with that upgraded ego, the real ego comes with more, you know, comes with boundaries, right? Stronger boundaries. And so I just like did some shadow work and, and I just like, okay, if I value myself, if I know I'm enough and uh, I'm a, you know, it's my birthright to exist in this world, feeling safe and feeling worthy, feeling loved. I should be able to speak up the way I want, right? And I'm not feeling guilty about it. That's another thing I'm working on. But I don't need to bend myself. And I could live my truth, right? And maybe some people are used to me, uh, you know, doing stuff that they ask but it's like, no, there is no, you know, it's not like, I think relationship is not transactional. This is another thing that I'm learning. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I am learning about my new boundaries, <laughs> my upgraded boundaries. And in order for me to know my new boundaries, I need experiences that teach me about my new boundaries. So... I'm just accepting it is what it is right now. And I am accepting that people are coming right now to teach me my boundaries. And it's not a good feeling at first. But then yesterday I thought, wow, 
somebody is really upset. <laughs> somebody is sending, speaking up the truth. And ooh, she said, stop, stop. <laughs> it's funny how everything is kind of intertwined. I think it's very important to speak up. <laughs> it's very important to speak up. But thank you, Boundary. Thank you, people, for teaching me about boundaries. And it's not about person. It's about the trade. It's about the energy that I don't want to let in anymore. So it's not about we're repelling people. It's about the energy that and the trade, the personality that, okay, I am not doing this anymore because because of you know it's like why <laughs> so if you're feeling this way i'm repeating myself but it's it's, it's very very true so uh where I, I read okay another important lesson of today involves the boundary necessary to keep your heart open and um i read this so your heart needs to feel safe and if you have good boundaries, you feel safe. So in each of your stories, you examine your personal boundaries, how they help and hinder your ability to open and receive. Today, you are in a place to accept and receive the truth about how you treat yourself. Now is the time to restore fairness and balance to your actions. Open up to more loving ways of treating yourself today. Notice how it feels. When you can't stop yourself thinking, uh, bad, badly about yourself or uh, think about something that you know your narrative tells you to you know a certain way and it triggers a lot of negative emotions immediately you can tell yourself like I gonna be kind to myself I'm kind to myself I'm just gonna be kind to myself you're opening up to a new ways of thinking about yourself in the long term you will uncover the areas where you overanalyze or underanalyze in your thinking. Yeah, <laughs> boundaries again, right? Um, boundaries about people, traits, personalities, but that also include us, and that's the hard part. Sometimes we, our mind overanalyze things. Sometimes our mind underestimate, underanalyze things, right? You will come to understand where you must yield to your heart's belief instead of forcing logical conclusions on yourself. That's a mastery, you know, <laughs> that's an art. Today's goal is to determine what boundaries are necessary for your heart to open and to maintain balance within. So when the thought comes up that put you down and when the thought try to put you down and try to ruin this heart desire, and that's when you immediately ah, let go. I'm going to be kind to myself. Or if you can't calm down your mind, it's just like, I, I say this now, God, help me, heal me, <laughs> help me, help me, <laughs> ask for help. Um, at the very top of um, today's goal is to determine what boundaries are necessary for your heart to open. At the very top of the list, you're working to protect your relationship to yourself and access to your heart. Any boundaries that keeps you connected to yourself instead of distracted by the outer world is a positive benefit to improve your life. Explore any boundaries that improves the quality of your marriage. Marriage to yourself. Enjoy your day. I'm protecting balance in myself. So it's not a selfish act to put yourself first and knowing more about yourself. And because we learn everything and our soul is advancing every day, I think it's, it's very important to check in with yourself every single day. It's like, what did I learn today? It's like, did I make myself happy? And uh, one thing that I did uh, from the program that I did, uh, we all have personal needs, right? And like, we all need to feel love. We all need to be nurtured. We all, you know, like I also wrote it down, like I, I appreciate physical touch and I really crave that. But let's say if you don't get that kind of needs, then you started to point in at other people, your partner. It's like, you're not giving me this, but I learned that needs are not going to be met by other people at all. Maybe some people can help you, but not checking off all your lists. And it's our responsibility to feel our needs. It's our responsibility 
to make our inner child happy every single day. Nobody can't do that job. And that's one thing that came up and I learned. And um, at the end of it, what we need to embody is, okay, so we have our prog programming, right? And uh, we have our needs and we need to work on our core belief. And as we work through our core belief and just forgive and let go of anything that uh, we have attracted and that against our core belief, because we had this false belief about ourselves, we forgive that part of ourselves and let go. And knowing our needs, because um, a, a lot of things we created and attracted some reality because we felt that our needs were not met. But now know that our needs are not not going to be met by other people, right? We met, we we'll meet our needs. Okay, that's one checklist. And now here comes the vision board. And um, I, I, I realized that a lot of my, you know, shadow work, uh, I've been doing a lot of shower, shadow work, healing work, and fascial work. I, I kind of got stuck. I mean, not stuck. It's, there were so many layers to peel. So I felt like I was not able to come to the last stage of manifestation, which what I meant was I, I, I took my time healing the core parts of myself, core belief. That took me a while because I couldn't believe, like, I am enough, I'm worthy. It's like, how can I feel if I don't feel this way? But that's, that's you know, I know everything falls into place if I know I love myself and I'm loved and I'm worthy. Okay, now I'm going to, like, shift the timeline and I just know that whatever I'm feeling, <laughs> I am radically safe, protected, and loved. Okay, I feel like I can establish that. You know, just like immediately imagine myself in a lotus flower. This is me. It's very humble, but it's the, it's the brightest in my own world. And because it's brightest, it shines and shines. And all of that, you know, shadows um, immediately turn into light. Or if it doesn't turn into light, it doesn't matter. Whatever I'm going through and whether I'm angry, sad, I am still lovable. Okay, check, check, check. Now, I'm going to feel my knees. I'm going to go see my checklist every day. Check, check, check. Okay, I love myself. Okay, I take care of myself, blah, 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 right? So my knees are met, so my inner child is happy. Now, here comes the last stage of the last you know, manifestation to be the creator of our life. We have our core belief. We have our needs met. Now, we're going to act as if. <laughs> act as if. And if we know this, all this core belief about ourselves, we don't have to go back and do it again. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay to remind yourself, but know that this is a solid platform, solid back, like solid ground that I am going to flourish and plant flowers and plant all that, you know, beautiful things. So, I am going to set the intention. This is how I want. And I'm not so visual per se. Like I have never, I've tried vision board, making vision board, but it never really works. Like for me, it's like, okay, this is like the hassle, you know, why do I have to like cut things or print out things? But I was just going to do maybe use Pinterest or, you know, just start putting ideas in it. Um, I, I've done a lot of, you know, law of attraction in terms of relationship, like try to attract people. But I want to go a step further. Just pretend, act as if like this is already there. And now what? I want to focus on now what instead of here, you know? Okay, I want the, my dream home to look like this. I want my relationship to look like this. And my everyday life is like this. And I've been writing down, but I think, I feel it's really time for me to go into this visual image of, okay, this is a home. This is how I want to feel. And this is like, I want to live nearby, near the beach. And this is how it looks like. And this is how much abundance I create. And um, yeah, so it's all in us. It's the work. And um, yeah that's also the boundaries right boundary setting like thank you for showing me this all of this now i get to know 
where my boundaries so my heart feels safe and this is where I stand my heart knows the truth and core belief check 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 my knees met check 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 my vision my vision for the future my focus on my career legacy and my vacation <laughs> and I'm gonna work on that and then act as if yeah mm. okay so I picked the card I tapped six times and the, pick, the card I picked was allow unlimited abundance the story you tell determines the abundance you allow into your life if you look at nature you will find abundance in all forms the fruits trees continuously provide the food and air we need to survive we've been conditioned to always be the giver or nurturer and often struggle to allow ourselves to receive from others. If we know giving feels so good, then why do we deny the gift others are trying to give us? Abundance is a natural state, and what you focus on expands. You can choose an abundance mindset, or you can play victims of scarcity mindset. Your choice. Take time to tune into your thoughts. Notice the words you speak. Are they amplifying abundance, or are they supporting scarcity? Gratitude help us to reinforce our attention back to our peaceful state of abundance. Remember, to appreciate means to make more of. When you pull this car, ask yourself, will I allow myself to receive the unlimited abundance trying to make its way into the world? I think happy thoughts, so I experience a life lived with joy. That's the energy of the card of the day. Um, Arts of receiving, <laughs> allowing yourself to receive is an art. And I think visually, physically, I feel like in order for us to fully receive, heart needs to be open. But literally the root chakra, the lower chakra, the root chakra, sacral chakra needs to be open. And because that's, that's where we attach to our mother earth and mother earth provide us. And so if we have living in fear, that's when that fear blocks our root chakra, the lower chakras. So if you have fear, guilt, and uh, because sacral chakra is about pleasure, so if you have guilt, then it's another blockages. And I think those are the things like that really stayed in me for a very long time. Guilt, shame, fear. And I'm working through that. I am like recoding like myself, going to subconscious, like forgiving myself for having those things. It's like, let go, let go, let go. And I just like allow myself to feel safe. What is like to feel safe completely? There's nothing to worry about, right? It's just like, I think we used to feel this way when we were a child, when our parents were taking care of us. Maybe, um, Maybe you didn't have that type of childhood, but you can, you can rem remember the time that you have less fear, we have less guilt, and you just kind of lived your life the way you want. So you just tap into that place where you just completely feel safe every moment because the society put us, tried to put us in, in a trap, trap us in this fearful state, and then it's, it's been done intentionally. So we just have to okay, I'm going to connect with the Mother Earth, a feeling of safety. Feeling of safety comes from having strong boundaries for ourselves, what you let in and what you affect. And so I love myself. I am safe. Whatever comes up, whatever happening in the world, I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. I think when we are able to embody the safety, that's when love comes because it's safe to love, because it's safe to feel neutral. It's safe to be taken care of. So maybe at the end, you know, we are love and love is the most important thing. But in order to feel love, it's the safety that needs to come before. <laughs> and then in order for us to feel the love, safety, you need to have the boundaries. So that's exactly that's what we are doing in this Scorpio season. Scorpio's energy connected to Pluto energy. Pluto is basically like the void, right? And nothingness is everything. Everything is nothingness. We create from the void. 
in this void, we need to know our boundaries. We need to know our limit. That's what's been shown exactly right now. So we are creating this, building this upgraded boundaries, relationship to ourselves, relationship to others. It's like, okay, now I set this really good boundaries. Maybe I'm going to like revisit these boundaries, but I just know that I get to upgrade these boundaries. I get to do this. I get to do that because this is my birthright to feel safe, protected, provided. So anything that are not supporting this core belief, I get to filter out and I have the birthright. Now, from that good boundaries, here comes the safety. I feel safe because I have good boundaries and I don't need to worry about anything else because I have good boundaries and so now my body is safe. When I embody to be safe, I feel joy, I feel love, and I feel, 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 right? And maybe something tried to challenge me, to challenge my boundaries, and it's okay, it's okay. But I'm, again, my core platform, the ground is, I am safe. Whatever's happening, I'm safe. You know, that's one thing that I started to tell, like, you know, definitely the world is going crazy when you're walking on the street. Vancouver is like San Francisco. Um, you come across and you see crazy people. And then um, you sometimes like people screaming at each other and you feel a sense of like, you know, fight or flight. It's like, is this safe for me? Is it safe for me? But then it's like, you know, I'm going to use my intuition at the same time. The mantra that I started to use this and it's kind of just like, it's like, <laughs> it's like Dragon Ball, Super Saiyan or like Matrix, Neo. It's kind of like, it's not the shield, but it's a power, <sighs> like a power of boundaries. It's like, I am safe in this world. <laughs> Whatever happening, I am safe in this world. And uh, so that I can immediately come back to my core belief. It's like, I am good. I am safe. I am worthy. I am enough. And so I practice that on the street. And so the sense of safety, loving, and I so feel. And then once you feel, then you believe. And so now the step system, right? And so you protect, I love, I feel, I believe, and I think, and I receive, I decide, and, oh, sorry, I intuitive, I sense, and I decide, I act, I manifest, and I am. Um, so that is the step. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, continue to work on our boundaries. And I think that's all for today. Do you guys um, have any questions or stuff that you're working through? Um, today is, uh, I received Libra Day, so I'm feeling a lot better, as you can see. And uh, we're moving to intuition, so tap into that intuition. <laughs> and um, yeah, continue to upgrade our boundaries, upgrade our boundaries. I thought boundaries are like, I didn't really understand about boundaries for a very long time, but boundaries are necessary and boundaries are beautiful. So let's really embrace what it's like to know your limit if you show up to the world with a core belief about yourself, right? You can write it down, your core belief about yourself. I am enough. I am worthy. I am provided. I am safe, protected. I am loved. I am lovable. Whatever you're feeling, whatever happening, these are like unshakable truth. So I don't need to be swayed by it. So every time if I'm shown something against this, I tell myself, Thank you for showing me this. Now I can upgrade my boundaries. <laughs> Set the <a> strong intention. <clears throat> I will never wanna, I never wanna feel like this ever again. I never wanna see this ever again in my field. So we get to choose. We have choices in every moment. We're not helpless. We're not, you know, we're not clueless. So yeah, let's peel the layers of all these illusions and um, just find our, our soul. Let's keep finding who we are. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. 
I'm gonna go, but uh, I um, hope you guys sending you guys so much love and have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And let's uh, keep on shining, more boundaries. Thank you guys, bye.